All right, here we go with the first draft. Um, let's have a look at the pack. We've got Keening Stone there. Uh, foil Vendetta, that's pretty sweet. Um, the Brimstone Mage Hatcher. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the Vendetta. It's pretty sweet. Um, always need removal. We'll go with that. So hopefully we can follow this up with a bit more black or some other strong stuff. Let's have a look. We've got the Fork Bolt. Vampire, Null Champion, Bird Breathing, Regress. I'm not a huge fan of the Hedron Matrix. Um, look, I'm probably going to go with Fork Bolt here. It's just, once again, quality good removal. We'll go with that. Okay. Bit of good blue stuff here. Um... Skywatch is always good. Obviously, that with the teacher and the champion's strike. Put it your way to a deck there. Mammoth Umbra's alright. The swipe, I don't mind that. Um, but look, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take the teacher and just see what happens after that. See if we can pick up some levelers. Maybe stick black, black blue, anything like that. Okay. Not that great. Vampire there. I think I'm going to go with the Crusher. There's not much more of uh, any worth to me. And the Crusher is pretty much going to go in uh, any deck we run. Gravitational Shift, yeah, not that great. <sighs> Gravity Well, Path Razor. Look, I'm thinking that uh, Essence Feeds are right. It's going to give us some tokens. Hmm. Lizard, it's a hill giant there. Look, if we uh, vary too much, I'm, I'm thinking that you know red and black may be the way to go here. So from here, I think I'm going to uh, I'll go with the essence feed because I've seen a few vampires going around, so maybe they'll come back. If we can work on that deck. Baneful omen. I always see the baneful omens being passed around. Wall of omens still there. That's interesting. Um, basically here I'm going to be looking between the Kiln Fiend and the Champion. Uh, I think the Kill Fiend's going to go. We've got a few instants and sorceries already on the run. So, that's the best way to go. Okay, so we've got the Surreal Memoir. Pen and Blade. Don't think that's going to be any good to us. Raid Bombardment. Nah, look, we've already got a few, a few good instants happening there. That's a sorcery. We've got the essence. I mean, the vendetta. So look, I'm going to go with a bit more. Um, I think the scorpion is going to be the right pick here. Once again, it's removal. Pretty solid. Hmm. I think the blood bright invoker is pretty much a no-brainer. I don't think we're going to be raid bombarding anytime soon. There we go. Well, there's. The <laughs> there it is. So do we want the Vampire, the boulder foot of the brood birthing. Look, I'm probably going to go the the vampire there. There's the brood birthing. I think that's a no-brainer right there. So much for the teacher. Hopefully that slows down someone else's level as deck. Again, I'm playing the essence feed, but we'll see what happens. <coughs> okay, come on. I guess someone's uh, taking their time. Alright, there's not much here. I think the only one that people may play against, this may be a problem, is the Glory Seeker. Not that it's that great, but uh, we'll take it anyway. Perish the Thought. Not a bad third last pick. May not be playable, but uh, we'll uh, see how we go. It's not the worst thing to have in a deck, but obviously there's a lot better. Guess people have 
making some uh, tough decisions there with two cards left. So I've got a bit of removal here to start with. Vendetta, Scorpion, a bit of token generation. Devastating summons. Hmm, okay. The Soul Sword Elemental, Brimstone Mage, Rapid Flames, Contaminate, Gloom Hunter. Not really too much there in the way of, uh, of black. We've already got the Crusher. This, this may be the way to go. Mm. It really is a, uh, a late game thing. It's going to pretty much wipe you out. If we are getting tokens, maybe looking at Soul Surge Elemental. But there's really not all that much here that I'm uh, happy with taking first pick. I mean, the Brimstone Mage is good, but it takes a bit to get up and running. Um, and obviously, I'm looking between these two here. I'm just, yeah, not a big fan of Devastating Summons because, uh, yeah, it's, it can leave you wide open if it doesn't doesn't work out for you. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Brimstone Mage here. Got another Kiln Fiend. Got one piece of black. Plenty of quality there for the Leveler's deck, unfortunately. Um, yeah, look, obviously I think Kiln Fiend's the obvious choice. The one card in our colours. Another Kiln Fiend. Null Champion. <sighs> Training Grounds God. Someone's going to be making a uh, pretty wild Leveler's deck here. Um, look, while the Kiln Fiends are here, I'm going to keep taking them. They're pretty solid, especially if we get the Sorceries up and running. Sorceries an instance. That's three. I mean, I don't think I'll be wanting to run any more than three in the deck. But uh, we'll see how we go. Give me one more. Yeah, we're really getting squeezed for uh, black here. We've got one, two, three, four, five black. There's some great green going around here. Um, everything's one casting cost there. We may be able to go into green. We've got some good green happening. Gloom Hunt is not all that great. But uh, look, I'm going to take the giant for now to uh, hopefully see if we can get some fixing for three colors. I don't think I'm really going to miss, say, a Gloom Hunter. Obviously, if you're using the Giant for uh, mana fixing, it means you're going to be uh, fairly solidly into green. Okay. Vore Umbra and the Wild Heart Invoker. I'm pretty sure we're going to take the uh, Wild Heart Invoker here. We do have the Lava Fume Invoker, but I think the Wild Heart's the way to go. Hopefully green's going to be pretty open in the third pack as well. And it just means we're going to be splashing some black. Probably really only be needing it for the Vendetta, Scorpion. Okay, Nest Invader. Beast Breaker. That's, that's pretty solid ones there. The Nest Invader is, is really handy. It's going to ramp it up, but the, you know, the Beast Breaker uh, can get pretty nasty pretty early. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking I am going to go with the Beast Breaker here. I mean, I love the Nest Invader. But you know that's that turns into a beat stick pretty quickly. Okay, well I'm gonna get rid of these black that I'm possibly not gonna be using. Blood throne hide. So far we just for the black we've got the vendetta and the scorpion. That's if we use it at all. Sorceries, if we can. That's pretty handy sitting there. Last stride, another invoker. Pretty much a no-brainer here. We'll go with another invoker. Getting a bit more, a uh, bit more beef to our deck. Twin invokers, beast breaker, and the giant's gonna hold its own with four, four toughness. 
Christmas.